Hi everybody, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us. Well, we've got the remnants of ex-cyclone Debbie coming in this week and a fair bit of rain coming along with it as well. Let's take a look at the maps. There's a lot to talk about as the system comes in. So we're going to try and fine tune in exactly where the heaviest rain will be and the rough timings that it's likely to, uh, to be arriving. So here's the current setup. A lot of lines on the map at the moment, typical for autumn. Southern Ocean is waking up, but you can still see uh, a number of big high pressure systems coming through. The system we're watching closely is just here. It's the low that's formed in this area here, and that's the one we're gonna be keeping a very close eye on as it drifts towards us. So when we put the rain clouds into us, Here's your setup for Tuesday afternoon. So around about lunchtime Tuesday, one o'clock Tuesday, you can see this line of rain. Now the center of the low is up here, somewhere around Norfolk Island. Not doing a great deal of uh, a lot. It's just sort of sitting out there at sea, deepening slowly as it's out there. Pulling down this very humid airflow across the North Island and some rain and strong winds between that sinking air pressure to the northwest and this blocking high to the south that's keeping Southland and Otago mostly settled although you'll notice the drizzle low cloud maybe even some fog sliding down although the fog problems that we've been seeing lately probably not too much of an issue this week because of the wind it's going to be pretty windy once we get to around about Tuesday uh, afternoon now this is Tuesday night a little closer in you can see the low is centered just off to the northwest you've got Kai Tire, Auckland and then around uh, East Cape so it's all buried under this big rain cloud that is sliding into the upper South Island but the rest of the South Island mostly dry there might be a few drizzle patches here and there around Canterbury otherwise nothing too dramatic but the heaviest falls in this area here just west of Auckland Auckland's wettest day looks likely to be uh, overnight Tuesday into Wednesday uh, uh, the 24 hours that I think will be the wettest in that area but the focus is really further south it's in central New Zealand so this is D-Day if you like Wednesday that's the day that this deepening low 996 hectopascals in the center there that's when the slow is dropping down it's got big strong winds around it the areas here with the heaviest rain usually in the southern and southeastern quadrants of these lows so it's pushing into the entire north island and heavy rain with strong nor'easters gale force pushing into the south island as well there is certainly a flood risk with this low it's going to dump anywhere between one to two months worth of rain in just a couple of days, especially for areas like Taranaki and other regions surrounding Cook Strait. So that's the setup for lunchtime Wednesday. Now we move through to lunchtime Thursday. The low is still deepening, still getting bigger. 993 hectopascals in the middle there. That's putting it into the sort of storm category with all these strong winds going around it. But you'll notice a change in the North Island. The humidity will finally come to a bit of an end after being around the 100% mark off and on for the last week. Now it starts to take a bit of a break and in the South Island, a big strong cold southerly blowing through there. Could be gale force as well. So there's a number of warnings and watches that Met Service have issued. We encourage you to check them out uh, because there's quite a lot to cover and our mountains and ranges are going to make the rain heavier for some, lighter for others. Same with the wind, stronger for some, lighter for others. It depends on where you are and the day the forecast is going to be chopping and changing a little bit now we end here on friday because i wanted a positive note as we head in towards the weekend we've got this big system moving away and a big high coming on in so the weekend at this stage is looking mostly settled and calm temperatures in the south will bounce back a little bit and those in the north the humidity is taking a wee bit of a break now the last map i wanted to show you it looks a little bit pixelated i understand that but let me just show you this is the expected rain around the country over the next seven days the area in red where the heaviest will be so i just wanted to show that to you you can very clearly see taranaki very much focused in this area of heavy rain as is much of the north island auckland not quite so bad so hopefully the worst of the rain for auckland at least will be further south but then that will become a problem for other regions as far south as marlborough and nelson that is all for me We'll catch you again uh, probably on Tuesday with our next update.